Okay, how long will Marco Silva be Everton manager? He's a man under pressure. The results have not been coming as of late. And Everton are um, stagnating in mid-table at the moment. And what was promised under Marco Silva was massive improvement. And, 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 a, and, a, and a new beginning after the Coleman um, disastrous sacking and the instability of, the, of, of, of Allardyce and Unsworth. Marco Silva was designed to improve the side, get them on the edge of Europe, get them into Europe and get them up the table, and it hasn't happened. The clubs that are around them that are competing, just to try to probably catch Arsenal, Chelsea, Man United, and, 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 the, and the, the, the Europa League places, your, your Watfords, your Bournemouths, um, and, and, and your Wolves. Clubs like that have markedly improved. Wolves have done exceptionally well as in their first year back in the Premier League. Bournemouth stuck with Eddie Howe through a tough spell, and people going, we must be sacked, it's not working, and look where they are now. And, and Watford. Watford have, have really done well uh, with Marco Silva's replacement. So, you know, but these clubs are clubs that have an identity and a plan. Everton doesn't seem to have that. Everton doesn't seem to have that long-term plan. Uh, they've got Marco Silva in. That's the first step in building a culture. Their plans for a new stadium. But there's no point in building this massive state-of-the-art stadium if you can't fill it and if you're playing championship football. And I fear that for Everton. I do. I don't want to say that, but I do. And the club has been there without silverware for over 20 years. And that's going to be weighing on fans' minds is when's the next trophy going to come. It's mid-90s since they last won the FA Cup. So fans will be wondering where is the silverware. Liverpool are streets ahead of them. Um, they're, they're lagging behind other uh, close rivals in, in the northwest, and And then other rivals in the league who have taken that next step and seem to have that long-term development plan. Everton just don't seem to have the same kind of direction going forward. And I, I do worry about their long-term um, you know, plan because there doesn't seem to be one. Um, on on the on the flip side of things, uh, at least you know their form is better than last year under what was projected under Ronald Koeman. They are, you know, not at the moment rushing to pull the plug. But I would say this: if they can't get a run together in the second half of the season and improve their league position, um, you know, I think they're going to have to have some tough conversations in the summer. I think he will survive the season, but I'm not sure if this sort of form carries on into next year, how long he's going to be there and, and you know what the future holds for Everton because they've had some great players. They've developed some world-class players back in the 80s. They had a very, very strong side. They've developed some really good young, talented English players. Um, they still have some young, talented English players, uh, but are they being left behind by Liverpool? Are they being left behind um, by by other clubs as well. They, you know, the rivalry between Liverpool is there, but they've been markedly left behind. Liverpool have been far more successful, even without winning a league title in over nearly 30 years. Liverpool have been more successful than Everton in silverware. And there seems to be a growing gap between the City rivals. And I think that's something else that I, uh, would be on the back of Everton fans' minds is the gap between them and Liverpool now. And the quality gap and the money gap. And I think the club needs a direction. They've got Marco Silva in place. I would hope they would keep faith. But if the form doesn't improve, he could be out of a job uh, because they are looking at mid-table mediocrity and possibly a relegation battle. If, if things don't improve in the next two, three seasons, that could be the reality for Everton. Uh, but there we go. How long does he remain manager? I want to hear from Everton fans about the Marco Silva. Like, you know, is he is he going to stay? Is he going to get sacked? You know, what the direction of the club is. But thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Place your comments below. And I'll have some more videos for you soon.